Hey guys, I'm Dr. Mudgill. I'm a dermatologist and dermatopathologist based in New York City and Long Island. I'm a New York Times super doctor and a Castle Connolly top doctor. I practice cosmetic, medical, and surgical dermatology. Welcome to my YouTube channel. What is a cyst? We've been putting a lot of pimple popper videos out there and everyone loves to watch them pop. But what is a cyst? How do they form? In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. It all starts out with a hair follicle. Normally, a hair is formed at the base of the follicle. What makes up a hair is a protein that's called keratin. The stem cells make the hair down here and the hair comes out of the hair follicle. And that's the hair that's either on your head or somewhere else on your body. Hair follicles are all over the body. They can be on your chest, your back, your arm, your neck, your face. Cysts can form anywhere there's a hair follicle. Sometimes, instead of the hair coming out of the follicle, it gets stuck in transit. And what happens is the keratin continues to be formed, but it can't get out of the skin and the cyst wall starts to form. The hair follicle itself starts to expand and that's the very early stages of a cyst forming. Over time, the keratin continues to form and this can happen over the course of months or over the course of years. The cyst just keeps growing and growing. Sometimes cysts will grow over a period of months and then just kind of stabilize and that's just how they'll stay for the rest of an individual's life. But sometimes they can continue to grow or sometimes they can even pop. So in this case, the cyst just continues to form and the keratin just gets stuck inside the cyst. So this is all the keratin. Instead of it coming out, it just gets stuck in here and the cyst wall gets thicker and thicker over time. So this is an uninflamed cyst that's living under the skin. What can happen sometimes though, is if folks squeeze on the cyst, and a lot of folks like to squeeze cysts so the stuff can kind of come out of the top here, but sometimes when you squeeze the cyst, it pops into the skin and the stuff, instead of coming out of the top, it comes out the side or the bottom. And what that does is causes a ton of inflammation. I mean, the skin just goes crazy. It gets very, very inflamed and you don't want to do that. So you don't want to squeeze your cysts. So in these pimple popper videos, when we remove the cysts, basically what we do is we make an incision on the top layer of the skin to try to get the whole sac of the cyst out. The key when you're removing a cyst is to get the whole sac out because if you leave a little bit of it behind, the cyst can reform. So that's why you'll see in our videos, there's sort of what looks like a hole in the skin because what we do is we get the contents of the cyst out most of the times first, and then we fish around and get the rest of the wall out so that our patients don't have a recurrent cyst. So now you have some background and context when you watch those pimple popper videos you love. If you have any specific questions, just drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's get it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Let's get it.